Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 7.20 a.m. Good morning, Splash. Good morning, Simba. How are you today? What are you watching? What are you watching out the window? What are you watching outside, Simba? Simba has a fluffy belly. Good morning, Stella. Stella's been walking around today. Stella likes to be my helper. Wherever I am, Stella likes to know what's going on. Right, Stella? Okay. Okay. Good morning, Boo. How are you today? The cats are very tired, and I'm very tired. And the reason why is because we didn't go to bed until probably like 1.30 in the morning, and I had to get up at 7. So, that's only like six hours of sleep or probably less. Hello, boo. Hello, boo. We gotta get moving today, boo. We don't have a lot of time to lay around and get pets, okay? Okay, you're a nice boy, boo. You're a nice boy. It is 8.25 a.m. right now, and the ants seem to be gone. I have not seen any ants today. And these are the three ant baits that I used um, under the front of the oven. Um, this is a raid ant bait. This is a raid ant bait. These do not work at all. Do not waste your money on those at all. This is a paper plate that I cut in half. And I put drops of the tarot ant bait on it. It's the super cheap ant bait. It comes in a little bottle. And this worked amazing. This is what killed the ants. Um, so I put the drops on here. I put it under the oven. And a few hours later, I came back. I moved this out. And it was just swarming, swarming with ants. Like it completely freaked me out. Um, so then I put another one in the corner, and the ants took the bait, the ants ate the bait, and hopefully all the ants are dead, because I have not seen any other ants. So, that would be great. And here's Stella. Stella wants to know everything that goes on, right Stella? Stella's a little bit of a busybody, but she just has a very curious mind, right Stella? Stella likes being involved. It's about 9 a.m. I just went out to run an errand and I got back and Stella has converted the kitchen into a fishball field. I guess it's a cat's version of football. And her and Simba and Boo were chasing this fish around the room. They're having a really good time, right Boo? Yeah. And here's Stella now. Back up on the chair. Hey, Stella. Stella was just making her meowing noises. And I saw her chasing the fish around the room. It's 10.45 p.m. right now. The cats had crunchies a little while ago. And now Boo's having some playtime. I took the cat charmer out and then I took this three tiered toy out. I forget the name of this, but Boo enjoys it. So the toys are pretty much on rotation right now.
Boo says he wants all the toys. He wants all the toys. Right now he's stalking it. Hello, Simba. This chair needs some serious vacuuming. There's definitely a whole bunch of cat hair on the seat. There's a, a blanket. The blue's a blanket. What you doing, Simba? You want to lay in your tub? This afternoon, I was in Tuesday morning, and I saw this toy. It's called Wind Up Rat Race, and it says, watch them scurry who wins the rat race. This is not a cat toy. Um, it was in the regular toys for kids section in Boo's laying next to it. Okay, boo. And um, it was $5.99 and it says you get four furry five inch rodents and they are wind up so there are no batteries needed which is great because I feel like every toy like this that the cats have with the battery, the batteries always go dead and a lot of times it's the little, like the little brown batteries uh, that you have to buy and replace. Uh, this also says twirling tails. This is what they look like. I just took them out of the box and they're actually bigger than I thought they would be. Like these are definitely more rat size than mouse size. So this will be something new for the cats because they have like little mouse toys like that are like this big, but these are, these are definitely rat toys. This is the gray rat and it is freaking me out because I think it really looks like a rat and I hate rats. Um, a few years ago I was walking down a street on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. It was in the 20s. I don't know if it was 24th Street or 26th Street and I was wearing flip-flops and I had my toenails, uh, they were painted yellow. It was the first time I ever wore yellow nail polish on my toes. And as I was walking down the street, a rat came scurrying out of, I don't even remember where. And it did not attack me, but it like went right toward my feet and like I felt the rat on my foot and oh, I just am so skeeved out just thinking about it. And yeah, it was disgusting. I was freaked out. I remember I had to walk to a Dwayne Reed and buy like hand sanitizer or sanitizer spray to um, kind of like wash my, um, to like wash my foot off with it. It was so gross, but I was just so thankful that the rat did not bite me or anything. Like thankfully it was not in attack mode or anything. It was just, I don't know what it was doing, but yeah. So I have like post-traumatic stress when it comes to rats. Anyway, I'm gonna wind this up because Boo's waiting for it and uh, we'll see what he does. Here we go, got a rat. We're gonna try the brown rat, ready?
Good morning, Boo. Good morning. Boo just walked in the room. I don't know why he's meowing at me like that. Stella's still sleeping. Hello, Stella. Good morning, Stella. You gonna get up? Good morning, Boo. Good morning, Boo. Boo laid down on the bed not too far from Stella. Hello, Boo. So what I realized was I think Boo was meowing at me because of the rats. Boo, you want to play with the rat? Good morning, Simba. How are you today? We're supposed to get some pretty horrible weather today. Originally, the forecast was beautiful, like all week. And then I found out today we're supposed to get some horrible storms, so. Here's one of the rats. This rat was not here last night. And here's Boo with one of the rats. Boo says, why is this rat not moving? Right, Boo? Uh-oh. The kitchen rug is bunched up. What does this mean? Oh, it means there's a fish in the rug. I couldn't find Splash. I was like, where's Splash? Splash is on top of the sofa. How you doing, Splash? You tired? Splash is very tired, too. Splash and Stella were up very late last night. This is my beautiful new stove that I bought to replace the old stove. And I got this on clearance. So it ends up that this time of year is the time where appliance stores mark down discontinued models. So if a manufacturer changes a model for any reason, then the distributors have to get rid of the ones that they have and they mark them down. So I got this at clearance prices. It was just kind of like I was in the right place at the right time. I did not even know the appliance store existed where I bought this from. Like I never saw it before. And then all of a sudden I was riding down the road and I saw the sign and I was like, oh, appliances, let me go in there. And everything worked out well. I was like the only customer in the store at the time because it was early in the morning. Uh, they were super nice. Uh, they were able to get me, um, you know, a great deal. So this is a Frigidaire gallery. And uh, yeah, this has a lot of features. Like I never had a fifth burner before, so that's really cool. It also has a griddle. Uh, so this piece, um, the grate on here comes out and there's a griddle grate, which is really cool. And then this is the front of it. It's pretty much a basic oven. There's a warming draw on the bottom. I just wanted something basic because I really don't do a whole lot of cooking or baking. Um, but you know, you can't have a kitchen without an oven and a stove. So that's why I got this. And um, I wanted something with stainless steel on top. So if there should be another issue with bugs or ants, then you could see them all really easily versus a black top. And what's happening now with appliances is that they're starting to put black tops on them. So like the front will be stainless steel, but then the top will be black. And the reason why they're doing that is because it's cheaper for them to manufacture it that way. And that's what they're doing with the newer model of this gas range. The new model has black on the top versus stainless steel on the top. So. Uh, yeah, it was really just me being in the right place at the right time to get a really good deal. Um, because every other store that I went to, uh, like when I looked at Lowe's, Home Depot, Best Buy, all the typical big chains, to get a stove uh, with stainless steel on top, I mean, you're talking a minimum of like $1,400. Uh, even PC Richards, uh, it was quite a lot more than what I paid for this. So... Um, so that's what's been going on here uh, the past day. Like yesterday, this was delivered and installed and all the cats had to be put uh, in rooms so that they 
you know, wouldn't get in the way. Not that they would, they'd probably just hide, but just to make it easier. And I think that is why Stella and Splash were up late all night. I know Stella was busy inspecting it. Uh, when I went to bed, she was just like laying next to it and um, Splash was here with her. So I think they're both very tired today because they're probably up looking at the oven all night. Stella, Stella, that's a clothes hanger. That's a hanger. That's a hanger. Hello, Boo. Are you playing with your toy? Hello, Simba. Hello, Splash. The cats are having their breakfast today. They are having homemade raw food with some water mixed in. There is one tasty stick cut in very small pieces, split among the four plates, and they each get a freeze-dried chicken bite in the middle and a few crunchies sprinkled on top. It's 12.30 p.m. I just looked outside and Ditto is eating food. He's eating the dry food out of the feeder. Hey, Ditto. How are you, Ditto? You a good boy, Ditto? It's starting to rain a little bit today. I have to put water out, but are you going to drink the green water? Okay, go eat your food, Ditto. You want more? Want me to give you some food? The problem is if I go out and give him food, he runs away. Eat your food. You want some? Ditto, you want some food? You want some food? Does he know the word food? Would you like some food? Let's go to the door. Let's see what he does. It is 9 p.m. I just got home a few minutes ago. And the inside cats have been fed. And I'm just about to give Hydrox about three quarters of a can of this Trader Joe's turkey and giblets because he likes it. Hey, Hydrox. Where you going? Yeah. There you go. Eat the food. You can eat it. There's the food I just gave him. I hope he goes over to eat it. Unless he already ate and he's not hungry. It is super humid outside right now. Look at that. You missed it. So while I was showing you Hydrox's food, he walked across the back step. I think he wants to sit under his party lights. Hydrox, I'll move your food over for you, okay? Okay. I just put Hydrox's food on his placemat, and look at that. Hydrox is eating his food on his placemat. He's having a few issues with his mouth. But he will go back and he will eat the food. It's about two minutes later and Hydrox just went back to the food to eat more of it. I'll let him finish before I go back outside. This is the first cat tower that the cats ever got. Hello, Stella, when they came inside. It's a small little cat tower. There's a little round top to it. And look at this. I mean, they have ripped up the rope. They have torn, nearly torn off all of the rug. I mean, that is ready to come off and and this entire thing is going out in the rubbish. It's done. 
This has lasted since January of 2017. So it's been two and a half years. And it cost about $29, I think it was $29. So I definitely got my money's worth for it. The cats have really enjoyed it and it is time to get rid of it. It's 7 a.m. Good morning, boo. You can go back to sleep. Go back to sleep, okay? Yeah. Good morning, Simba. Good morning, Splash. Splash is laying on the pillows like he's a person. Stella's been teaching him. And here's Stella. Good morning, Stella. It looks like all the cats had a really late night. I didn't get to bed until after 1 a.m. So the cats were usually up later than I am. And now it's 7. And this is one of the other cat towers that I put where the small tower was. And Stella has pretty much claimed it as hers. But at least she's not on the dining room table. It's about 8 p.m. right now. And I'm just getting home. I'm still in my car. I just parked my car. And there's Ditto. This is Ditto on a neighbor's driveway. I am super zoomed in right now. So that's Ditto. Ditto has been more visible lately. I saw him in my front yard the other day. And... Um, so he's been more visible. So this is Ditto. I'm kind of waiting for him to turn around. But about eight feet in front of him, which I don't know if you'll be able to see. Right there, about eight feet in front of him, is the orange cat. Or it's one of the orange cats. I don't know if that's the orange cat that I saw the other day because this one looks like it has some white on the front of it. I don't know if the orange cat that I saw the other day had white on it. I think it was all orange. But anyway, so here is the orange cat. And there's Ditto. And they're hanging out. I don't know if they're having like a standoff or what, but they're just hanging out. It is 8.24 p.m. right now. I just gave Hijax half of a can of food. He was in the bushes and he came out and he sniffed it and he smelled it and he kind of walked away, so he'll come back if he wants to eat it. And this is what's going on inside. Some men splash are waiting for food. Stella's waiting for food. Boo's upstairs waiting for food. Today for dinner, the cats are trying healthy by design shredded salmon dinner. It says no corn, wheat, soy, artificial flavors, or preservatives. Grain free. The ingredients are fish broth, salmon, chicken, chicken liver. Notice how they put chicken and chicken liver in here as the third and fourth ingredients, yet this is not salmon and chicken formula. It just says it is shredded salmon. So that is a bit deceptive. Then it goes to dried egg white, potato starch, dried egg product, Quark gum, natural flavor, salt, sodium phosphate, and then we go into all kinds of vitamins and minerals. So it's basically salmon, chicken, chicken liver, eggs, and vitamins and minerals. This is what it looks like. It is that fake shredded meat that is just like super highly processed to look like chunks of meat, but it really isn't. It's really highly processed meat it's made to look like chunks. This is what the food looks like after I mixed in a little bit more water to make a little bit more of a gravy. Oh, Boo's crying. Okay, everybody, eat your food. Okay, so Splash did what he always does. He smells it and then he runs. So I'm gonna pick his food up and put it somewhere so Boo cannot eat it. And the other three should eat their food. But I do have to watch to make sure that Boo does not eat more than his portion. I just gave Splash's food on the top of the steps. 
I keep telling him that he likes it. Meanwhile, Simba raced through his food, and now he's eating Stella's. Stella's been taking her time eating her food, and Boo takes his time also. Simba! Now, if Stella did not want Simba to eat her food, she'd bop him on the head. Simba, come here. Here. Here, Simba. Simba's eating splashes because Simba really loves it and he wanted more food, so I just gave him splashes. Now, I'll give Splash a different can of food. I have the small cans of Harbor Harvest, um, which is kind of similar to this, ingredient-wise. And um, I'll give one of those to Splash later. I think he likes those better. Meanwhile, Stella ate most of her food and Boo is still working on his. Sometimes eating on the paper plates is not the most ideal thing um, because the plates move around like you could see and sometimes it's a bit harder for them to get the food off of it but anything that slows down their eating I think is good. It is 12.39 p.m. Let me explain to you what's going on here today. So Simba is on top of an armoire. The cats have never been on top of this armoire before. And today what happened was I was walking down the hall and I saw out of the corner of my eye like a black blob on top of this armoire but I didn't think anything of it. I was just like, oh, it's a shadow, whatever. And then a short while later, I walked into the room and I was doing something and I looked up and I realized that's not a black blob, that's Boo. And Boo was walking around on top of this armoire. At that point, there were some other things on top of, there were just some decorative items. So I took the decorative items off and I cleaned off the top. There was a little bit of dust on top. And I put this blanket on top and then I also put one of the round tubs which you might be able to see behind Simba. And I put Boo back up here but he didn't want to be up here so he kind of jumped off. Um, but I put Simba up here and Simba really likes it. So this ends up being like an additional level to the cat tower. So here's Simba. Right? Here's Simba. And there's the cat tower. This is the cat tower that is usually on the live streams. Uh, like Boo loves to hang out on this cat tower. So I moved the cat tower over so it is right next to the armoire. And then if they want to go up, they could go up. I actually might move this over a little bit more toward where it was. Like I'll keep it in jumping distance of the armoire. It's 7.39 p.m. and I just got home a few minutes ago. And I looked out the back door just now and Hydrox was sitting where he's sitting and then like right here was the black cat that I had seen a few weeks ago, a few blocks away. It's the black cat uh, that looks like Boo but he has a little bit of white like on the front of him, almost like in the bib area. He's like a, you know, Boo's white spot instead of whose white spot being on his stomach, he has it on the front. And I just looked out the door and he and Hydrox were like looking at each other. Meanwhile, a few minutes ago, Hydrox was just sitting in the bushes and I was unloading the car. And then uh, I was walking past the door and that's when I saw the other cat with Hydrox. So it looks like Hydrox is, you know, keeping the other cat away. So I need to... Um, Finish putting a few things away and then I will give Hydrox food. So Hydrox's new routine is that he comes around at night for dinner. I don't see him the rest of the day, like in the morning. I don't see him. I don't know where he is. And I'm usually not around in the afternoon. But then at night, he's been coming around for dinner, so I usually give him a can of food. Okay, Hydrox, I'll give you food in a little bit, okay? It is 8.53 p.m. 
And I'm sitting here at the kitchen table and I'm editing a video and look who's sitting next to me. It's Stella. It's 9 p.m. So while Stella is sitting on the chair, Boo's under the table with the fish. It is 9.34 p.m. And I was just outside and Hydrox walked towards me on the patio and he was meowing so I gave him half of a can of food. This is some ocean whitefish dinner. It's Trader Joe's also. I don't know the exact name of it but I gave him half of a can. If he eats that I could give him the other half of the can. It is 9 46 p.m. and I am supposed to be editing a video tonight but there have been so many distractions and here's Hydrox. He's eating the second half of the ocean whitefish can of food. And I was outside with him and he was meowing at me. Um, and he should finish that and be very happy. Thank you for watching this Lucky Earl's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos. And please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.